you're watching the sixth video in a series of tutorials to help you learn how to use Filmora 9, the fun to use, easy to learn video editor for all creators. By watching our tutorials, you can learn everything you need to know to create your own videos in Filmora 9. In this video, you'll learn how to change your preferences and how to reduce lag you might have because of computer performance. First, let's go up to File and click Preferences. The first menu is the general one. Here you can choose your preferred language to use the software in. Here you can choose how often you want Filmora to check for updates. In the folders menu, you can choose where most of the files you create in Filmora are placed on your computer. By clicking browse on any of these, you can choose where the program will keep your file. I'll cover the effect packs in another tutorial, but you can also choose where that will live on your computer. The editing menu will let you set the default duration for photos, transitions, effects, and freeze. When you drop a photo into your timeline, it will add it to your video for the duration you specify here. Transitions and effects work the same way. If you drag a transition or effect into your video, it will be set at this default time. Freeze is short for freeze frame. When you right click a clip, it will allow you to add a frozen frame where you have selected. The default duration can be changed here. You can also choose how your pictures adjust when they're dropped into your video. Fit will place your image into the timeline and adjust it automatically to put it into your project. You may see black bars around the photo. This is just so Filmora can fit your whole image in without having to change how your photo looks. Crop to fit will put your image in the timeline, but depending on the size of your image, might have to crop parts to make the image fit without changing aspect ratio. Lastly, pan and zoom will add an effect to your image while also fitting it to your aspect ratio. This is useful to add some fun to a slideshow or montage of pictures. In the save menu, we can have Filmora automatically save for us and choose where to keep those automatic saves or backups right here. Auto save is pretty important and I suggest you use it. If something ever goes wrong while editing, and you haven't saved yet, you could lose hours of work. Autosave won't take up a ton of space on your computer, and if it's checked on, it will save automatically if the program ever gets closed. We can also choose the folder that projects will be placed when you create a new one. GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit. When you edit, you may be working with large, high-resolution files that give your computer trouble. The better the GPU, or graphics card in general, you have, the less of a chance you have to deal with lagging or slow footage while editing. However, whether your computer has a good GPU or not, there's a good chance that at some point you'll want to edit with proxies. Video proxies are replacements for original video clips that might be too graphically difficult for your computer to handle. The proxy will appear lower quality than your original clip. But don't worry, when you export your video, it will export with the full quality clip added back in. The reason the resolution can be chosen in this drop down menu is because usually the higher resolution, the more graphically challenging the clip will be to work with. For example, if it seems like my footage shot in 4K seems to be running slowly, I'll check this box and select 3840 by 2160. This way, when I import my 4K footage, Filmora will make it into a proxy for me. And now, when we watch it back again, it plays smoother than a knife through butter. There's one more performance tip that we're going to look at located on the preview window. Clicking this icon will let you change your playback quality. This can be set to anything from half quality all the way to 1 16th quality. If your footage ever seems to be lagging in the same way you saw the drone shot lagging, you can change this setting to help it out. Again, you are adjusting only how you see the footage while you edit. When you export the video, everything will return to full quality. Thanks for watching. Check out our other tutorials to learn how to edit a video from start to finish with Filmora 9.